Creating an EDI implementation guideline or companion guide can be made easy with the Ceph Manager utility because much of it is already done in the Ceph file. A Ceph file is an implementation guideline in the standard format, which we will use as the basis in our companion guide. In this example, we are using 810-4010 invoice. To get started, just open the Ceph file with the Ceph Manager. Then make your changes by right-clicking on a node you want to modify and then select the action you want to take. Here I am changing the segment to not used. Or you can use the hotkey Ctrl Q to toggle the segment's requirement between used and not used. You can also do the same with the data elements. For example, I'll change this element to not used, then back to used. If you want to specify a set of code values for a data element, expand it, then right-click on the code node, then select Add Codes, and then enter in the code values. For example, BT and RE for Bill to and Remittance Party, respectively. When you're all done, save it and then print it. If you have the Adobe Acrobat software installed on your computer, you can print to a PDF file to get a file format similar to the file view, which you can then deploy electronically. The advantage of creating an EDI companion guide from a Ceph file is that you can use the same Ceph file to validate an EDI file. In this way, you can check if your own EDI file complies with the guideline you have just created. So for example, here's a sample EDI file and the Ceph file that we just modified. I'll load both of them into the eFile Manager for validation. A few errors were found. The first error message is about an invalid code. Let's double click on it to take us to where the error occurred. Here's the offending value. Let's view the code list for this element in our set file. It only shows BT and RE, but we forgot to include ST. Let's add in the ST code. Okay. Now let's go back to the eFile Manager to see the next error. All three are about an N1 segment that was specified not used. If we go back to the Ceph Manager, here's the N1 segment. Let's change it back to used. Now let's save the Ceph file. Okay. Let's reload the files into the eFile Manager again. And this time there are no errors. Therefore, our Ceph and Sample EDI files do not contradict each other. We can now be confident that our companion guide is correct. So let's print it out. And here it is. The first page will have the overview of the transaction set. And the following pages will have the details of the segments. For more information, visit www.edidev.com.